How many of you know D. Ray McKeeson? Black Lives Matter activist. You know, the one with the blue jacket, the blue vest. Uh, known, known uh, I don't know. How can I put this? Known to be a person who was picked by the establishment to jump in front of the Black Lives Matter movement. Now, that's just my opinion. That's just based on what I've read. That's what I've researched over the last year or so. Well, D. Ray McKeeson, uh, he thinks maybe the world is revolving around him. Because he believed that uh, maybe Hollywood, big Hollywood studio, decided to use him as a prop in a movie. But their depiction of him was not of, I don't know, some great actor playing him. He believes that the makers of Planet of the Apes, the latest edition, use his vest on an ape to simulate him. D. Ray McKeeson, gosh, I guess I'll say it. And Tariq Nasheed, my friend, my old friend, Tariq Nasheed, mole coded messages in a war for Planet of the Apes. Black Lives Matter activist D. Ray McKeeson and author Tariq Nasheed were mocked on social media on Tuesday after forwarding the idea that racially coded messages may be in the war of the Planet of the Apes. Promotional material for director Matt Reeves' upcoming film was pulled into an online race debate because a blue vest Mr. Nasheed associated with Mr. McKeeson. Tariq Nasheed sent out this tweet. It read, does the new Planet of the Apes post to have racially coded messages? Notice the Black Lives Matter symbolism. Notice the ape with the blue vest. Mr. Nasheed tweeted nearly 190,000 followers on Monday. Given the history of rendering black people as apes, I'm offended and appalled by the lack of consciousness in Hollywood. Hashtag Planet of the Apes. That was McKeeson's tweet in response. Hmm. But McKeeson did delete his tweet. That didn't stop people from reacting to the accusation that maybe Hollywood decided to use you and put, in, put you on an ape. Hmm. Fans of the original movies and movie busts were quick to shoot down the racial conspiracy theory in which D-Ray unwittingly culturally appropriates the style of a chimp from Planet of the Apes, gets offended about it, and cries racism. Sargon of Akkad tweeted that. You're outraged because they're recreating the look of the original ape in 1968. You don't own wearing blue vests, man. Grow up. Filmmaker Robbie Starbuck added with an image from the original film. Now, Whoopi Goldberg from The View, View fame, who I disagree with often, disagree with her a lot. She's, she went on a tirade about Doreen McKeeson and tore him a new asshole. And she did this saying, basically, that D-Ray has a overbloated view of himself. If he believes that this was a racially motivated thing, and if he believes that this is even related to him. And I saw that clip of, Whoopi Goldberg, who I disagree with so many times, I can't count. Whoopi, Girl, but Whoopi Goldberg gets it wrong a lot, on my, in my opinion. But I still respect her as a person. I respect her to have her own opinion. Here's my thing, guys. I happen to know that D.R. McKeeson is very, um, very full of himself. This I know for a fact. This I know from interacting with him on Twitter. He likes to punch down. That's what he does. Now, to this whole thing with the Twitter, with the with the apes and with the vest, folks, I do not know if they were inspired by D. Ray McKeeson, if they decided to bring the blue vest back and it happens to look like D. Ray or if it was intentional or if this was something they were shooting for to begin with. I have no way of knowing that. But this is what I do know. D. Ray, you have no way of proving it. And to make that accusation, you and Tariq, it makes you look silly. Now, I know that your followers or your fans, maybe it doesn't make you look silly. Maybe they, they see the possibility. And yes, I will agree there is a possibility. But since you can't prove it, I wouldn't have jumped out the gym on it. I don't know. It is what it is.